let's talk about something else right now, okay? Before I say too many things, I don't know. I already said enough, but let 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 let's just talk about something else, okay? That is what it is, and you know, I show sure hate it, but you know, I'm not no little little bitty kid. You know what I mean? I'm grown. I'm all the way grown, and I'm not on no leashes or nothing. I can't get pulled back when I go too far. You know what I'm saying? Not especially on no dumb shit. No woolly lump lump shit. On no old you went to the wrong store type shit. No. Fuck that. On my mama. Okay? Fuck that. I ain't, I, I ain't one of them. I, I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay? So, on that note, we done with it. What's happening on this paper? Y'all, I don't know what the fuck. Man, now y'all done hit me up so many times about this Phaedra shit. Auntie, what you think about Phaedra? I know it's a mute point at this point in time, and I ain't gonna really hit too tough with it. All I'm saying is, it's one motherfucker trying to get this motherfucker sanctioned by the bar. Did y'all see that shit? This motherfucker straight trying to get her sanctioned by the bar. This motherfucker was all on some old, according to Cole, woo da woo da woo woo You can't this right here. You can't misinterpretate. Man, this motherfucker... Hey, I was watching, what was it on? On TMZ. They got this motherfucking dude on there. This 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 dude, you can tell, this motherfucker be cyber, cyber bullying and probably all kind of, ain't no telling what he be doing on the internet because that motherfucker is like, I didn't like the way uh, Phaedra did candy and I didn't like the way, that motherfucker was bringing shit back from, from when Nene was on the motherfucker. Like on the first, second season, he was, he was coming back on all kind of shit. He was like, well, you know, I have contacted the, the, the board uh, in, in, in Georgia and this and this and this. I was like, wow, is it that deep? Is it that motherfucking deep, though? Nigga, you ain't even got nothing to do with that. And this motherfucker, he's just jumping in and trying to really get her shit fucked up. It's a, it's a pity and a motherfucking shame. It is, but what's done in the dark do come to light, don't it? And you can walk around this motherfucker and act like you holier than thou. Them motherfucking holier than thou motherfuckers be the main ones that be doing the coldest shit. They put in the most work. Let me just go and say that shit right there. Now, people want to get in my ass because I cuss a lot, you know, because I'm overt. But them overt motherfuckers be the main ones that be, you know what I'm saying, hold that shit near and dear. Them real quiet motherfuckers, oh, I don't want to talk about that. Oh, I can't believe you said that. Oh, girl, no. Nah. Oh, cover all that shit up. Then the main motherfucking ones is putting in the most work. Real 100 shit. Hey, this motherfucker right here, she might as well go ahead. Up. Now, she was saying... Oh, I got mortgages and all this old type of shit. Now, she been on the show for a couple of years. True Entertainment do pay you pretty nice. And with the back and the Bravo, yeah, she's making a decent amount of uh, amount of change to keep her other little business and all that other shit going, okay? But now she might as well go ahead on, close down this motherfucking office, tell everybody, look, check this out. We're going to do our shit from home. I ain't gonna be able to. I ain't gonna be able to pay everybody like I've been doing. I'm just gonna keep a, a, an assistant or two. You know what I'm saying to run some other shit to keep my calendars and shit right here. But all this running this um business and and got all that shit popping. Nah, mama, fuck that. Now you gonna have to be on some prepaid legal. Legal. Your motherfucking ass gonna be had to be the cab county public defender type status. Nigga, it is what it is now. Because what is done in the dark comes to light. Now, you done said all the shit about this woman, okay? And you over here putting in the most work. That's crazy to me. You know what I mean? That's fucked up. But that goes to show how motherfuckers really get jealous. You can have a friend and y'all motherfuckers can be cold as fuck. But nigga, don't let some shit turn around in your motherfucking life and, it didn't, and they didn't get that same blessing with their name on it. Oh, nigga, they gonna shake your ass. Oh, nigga, we can't be friends no more. I'm cool. Them motherfuckers be dirty. You know, trying to trying to get your ass from the back and doing all kinds of shit, man. Wow. For real. Now, I understand that Misery does love, like company. You know, and here she was going through her thing with Apollo. And here Candy now was getting married. The show put on the whole big ass elaborate wedding for him and all that old type of shit. That bitch was sitting in the cup mad than a motherfucker. That bitch was sitting in the cup, mad in the motherfucker. And that's where all this shit is still heading from. And then all that, then she turned around and had a baby, bought a new home, and all this, all this shit. Yeah, that motherfucker didn't like that shit. And here they got her dude on some more investigation shit, nigga. We looking for C-dudes. 
that motherfucker was jealous and mad. And it's so unfortunate that, you know, their friendship went down like that. That's fucked up. That is fucked up. I don't even know what else to put on it. That's fucked up, though, Phaedra. Real shit, though. You really show what kind of real good friend you really are. And then you use this motherfucker as collateral damage. You know what I'm saying? You just you just use this motherfucker to put her in, man. That's fucked up. Wow. That's fucked up. <laughs> that's fucked up. So, uh, you know, and now that the show done fired this motherfucker, man, now what's going to happen? With all these mortgages and all that shit. That's why I keep telling y'all motherfucking ass. Man, when you get an overflow, nigga, you better pay who the fuck you owe. Fuck a note. Well, a note. Why are you paying? Why do you have a note? I mean, God damn it! if you've been on this motherfucking show all these years in a row, nigga, and, and, and that, that, them houses down there don't cost that much motherfucking money. And you mean to tell me this shit ain't paid for? I don't understand that shit. I don't understand that. You, how many mortgages you saying I got mortgages? Nigga, you, why you didn't pay that shit off, Adrian? Come on now. You know, you should be really smarter than that. Now, if you saying I'm paying the taxes on all this here, then, then a motherfucker can be like, okay, you draw me in close and be like, all right, I hear you. I, I, I see you. I see you. You know what I'm saying? Let the residuals pay your motherfucking taxes. I feel you. But, nigga, you coming here talking about mortgages? I don't understand that shit, nigga. That that, that 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 don't make no sense to me. But I understand everybody wanna live high on the motherfucking hog. But living high on the hog mean you gotta have a residual motherfucking income. Let's just be clear, okay? A residual motherfucking income. And if you ain't doing some Beyonce type status, okay, nigga, if you ain't doing Nicki Minaj type status, you know what I'm saying, nigga? You ain't got no business over there in these motherfucking gated up uh, what's the names. With all these butlers and all this old type of shit. Because, nigga, all that shit costs money. Residual income. You understand me? That's talking about long line of motherfucking money. Whereas you got shit on you, with your motherfucking name on it, attached to it. Whereas you got checks coming from all kind of motherfucking directions. And you're supposed to have seven. You understand? So, you know, Phaedra, I, man, baby, I feel so sorry for you. For real. I really, really do. Because I already, already feel like... Whatever this Apollo shit, this shit ain't even over with. This motherfucker appealing shit and you was trying to do some dirty undercutting shit on that with changing up the name or whatever you did on that shit too. Now, them motherfuckers is looking at that. Now, you got it on camera that you done done this shit. Then, nigga, that's tort and all kind of shit, nigga. You just gonna done, done call this woman and done, done said this right here. Put a hell of a offense on the motherfucker. And now, you sitting up looking crazy. Now, the show done fired you now. Because, let me just go and tell you how... The, Excuse me, how these motherfuckers do it. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, it's all good until you get caught. Until you get found out, them motherfuckers is your friend. Once you do some shit, nigga, some unethical shit and get caught up, nigga, they cut saver all motherfucking time. You see this motherfucker right here, FBI director. This motherfucker's now looking for a different line of work. That motherfucker is like shit, fuck it. I'm going, man, I'll be unemployment out the game. But I but unemployment still got a cap on it, so it, that's some bullshit money to that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the dog daycare money. You know what I'm saying? But 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 still, yet still, man, I sue the fuck out of some motherfucker. I'll be suing the fuck out of these motherfucker after he get it all. You know, get his you know, balance and shit right and get his head back right. He probably ain't really giving a fuck though, cause he already know this shit ain't over with. You know, so you know this shit is a whole nother twist. The saga begins, don't it, nigga? I'm just trying to figure out is Hillary getting her shit packed. Because I'm just trying to figure out, after all this shit gets said and done, is y'all going to pull these motherfuckers up out the White House and then put the appropriate motherfuckers in to do the job? Because I'm just trying to figure this shit out right now. You know, I'm, I'm lost in the sauce on all this bullshit. You know, but I knew it was a dirty rat some motherfucking way because I was just, it was just kind of hard for me to believe that motherfuckers was really voting for Donald Trump like that. Which uh, I, I can, uh, you know, agree that, yeah, some people did for the simple fact that a lot of people really didn't want to, you know, be back and behind no woman. That's that narcissism shit. They don't want to be behind no motherfucking woman. You know what I'm saying? I'm the king. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a woman can't run this country, you know? So I can understand why, you know, a lot of men and stuff was tripping out on the fact that there was a woman running for president. But, nigga, you talking about the best qualified for the motherfucker on the job. That's what we talking about. We ain't talking about motherfucking appearances. We talking about who's the best qualified motherfucker for the job. And the last time I checked, her husband already ran this motherfucker for eight years. She's sleeping next to this motherfucker. So then, therefore, well, who who going to be making decisions? 
Yeah, she gonna stand before the podium and read what they done put up there, but goddamn it, Bill is behind a lot of her motherfucking decisions that she would've been making. I just didn't understand that shit. Y'all can't get me out of California. Fuck what you going through. Nigga, we too liberal over here. And I love it. Fuck that. I ain't going no motherfucking where because fuck all that shit on how they be getting down in different places. Fuck that. I, I, I can't do it because ain't no prejudice in me. I don't have it in me like that. You know, I'm on some live and let live hippie type shit, nigga. Grow some shit, nigga, and, and, and do it moving after that. I'm on that. You know, and all this other bullshit, all this all the undercurrent racial shit and all this shit. I don't like to get involved with that shit because I just, I, it's just, oh my God. It's unsettling to my whole feng shui. You know what I mean? So I don't, I don't, I don't talk about those topics. <coughs> <coughs> Not the fact that I'm on some sweeping up under the rug type shit. But it's just the fact that I don't talk about that. I understand somebody else hit me up and want to talk about Steve Harvey. Well, I have not talked about Steve Harvey. You know what I'm saying? Unk is still unk to me. You know what I'm saying? I know unk from way the fuck back. You know what I'm saying? So then therefore, I can't really fuck with that. He on what he on. He on his Capricorn shit. You know what I'm saying? That's unk. That's that, you know, hey. You know what I'm saying? And they still hiring this motherfucker to do other things. So I, it's like, you know, what the fuck can I say? You know what I mean? I'm on some live and let live, nigga. If it ain't affecting what's happening over here in this motherfucker right here, you know, some real shit, I can't be up what's going on in somebody else's house. You know what I mean? Because my hope is that they made the best motherfucking decision out of the options that they had to work with. That's the only thing I can hope because that's the way I do business. I'm going to make the best motherfucking possible decision based on the options that I have to work with. I don't make no rash decisions. I take my time. I think my shit through. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let me table this. Let me, let me, let me, let me, you know what I'm saying? Let me sleep on this right here. Let me go get me some cookies and shit and, you know, some milk and shit. And let me ponder this. Let me put one up in the air. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Let me marinate on this right here. Yeah, I'm that one. I don't make no rash decisions. I never have. I'm not one of them. Because I'm looking at all motherfucking angles in case this don't do that, in case that don't do that, in case this motherfucker right here don't pull through. You know what I'm saying? You don't make no rash decisions. Because you can make a motherfucking permanent decision off of a temporary motherfucking emotion. And it can fuck you up. Real shit. So then therefore, I took me 30 days. I took me 30 days because I was like, you know what, shit, let me sit it down, let me get low and light, let me get my bearings, you know what I'm saying? And let me also leave the door open for, for a little get right. Maybe I was wrong, maybe I didn't see some shit, maybe, you know, maybe, okay, let's talk about this on some adult shit, you know what I'm saying? But hey, after 30 motherfucking days and some shit didn't manifest, niggas, it's called uh, float on, you know what I'm saying? Shit, it's called, okay, see you later, bye. Okay, thank you. No hard feelings, but you know what? Check this out. Adios, amigos. Yeah. So, anyway, family, it's a video day in May. I just came on right quick to talk about some of this right here. I'm finna go outside and just go take in a little bit of this motherfucking sunlight, can I? It's such a beautiful goddamn day, man. We got, we got motherfucking new moons and full moons and all kinds of shit going on around this motherfucker. I'm loving it. I feel good, real shit. Mercury done moved on the fuck out the way as of yesterday. Nigga, I'm winning right now. I feel good, like for real. I feel really, really good. I feel strong as fuck. Real shit. I feel really, 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 really good. So, on that note, um, um, shit, let me figure out what fish market I'm going to go to. <laughs> Nigga want some Long John Silvers, I think, today, though. Real shit. I eat fish every day. That's crazy. I do. My eating habits have really changed. Changed for the better, though. And I know y'all motherfuckers like, what's happening on a cooking video? I'm going to do some cooking videos, but I got to get my bearings on that. Because I also need to be cooking something that, you know, that's half-assed decent, too. Because a nigga like cheese, nigga like gravy and motherfucking biscuits. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to like all mine fried. Don't fuck with me no other way. You know what I mean? So, see, I like my shit a certain type of way. So, I'm going to have to, you know, yeah, auntie got you on that. We're going to do a cooking this and that. You know what I mean? That's my that's my tilt. I like that. You know what I'm saying? I got three of them in here that I got to provide. You know what I mean? And yeah, cook them some cool shit. Yeah, I'm on that page. So anyway, um, it's 1048. And um, yeah, I'm going to sit here out the way. You know, I'm going to sit here out the way. Um, shout out to, oh my God, y'all. I've been getting reached out to some really, really cool people. 
I've been making some really cool connections on the platform, and I just want to say from the bottom of my soul, I just, I'm just so thankful and so grateful that, you know, you're here, um, you're checking me out, watching my channel and shit, and it really means a lot. It truly does. It really does. You know, a simulation and association works hand in hand, and, you know, you, you, you never turn away from being around good people, you know what I'm saying, and especially... When people come to you with, with open hearts, you know, that's what I want to believe. That's what I choose to believe. That's what I receive, you know. So, um, man, I, I just, man, to new beginnings, you know what I'm saying? To some new beginnings. And I really appreciate you, you know. And I just thank you. I do. Um, so, anyway, um, I'm gone, family. I'm gone. I'm going to go outside and sit outside for a few minutes. Um, Wendy come on at 10 o'clock, it's 10.49 right now, so I'm going to sit out there and take it in a little bit, give me a little vitamin D going. And, um, I shall talk to you guys on tomorrow. I love you guys, love you guys for watching. And, oh, yesterday, you see, I just put up the video of, um, my daughter went to, um, Sacramento. And, uh, so, that was my video of the day. <laughs> And uh, that just kind of wore me out because I, you know, that broke my sleep up. And I love to sleep. I'm that motherfucker. I love to fucking sleep. Okay. And so uh, that just, man, my sleep was all broke up. With that getting up at 3 o'clock and getting out and all that and all in the wind, man. And I couldn't, when I came back home, I couldn't go to sleep. So it was like, man, it was like I had been up since 3 o'clock in the morning. So I just, um, one of my friends, um, oh, it's one mm. One of my friends had reached out to me, and I had been keeping it low and light, you know, because I still wanted to go through my little 30-day little process to see what this is what's going to do. And so, uh, and I had never, you know, all this time for the past week or so when he reached out, I didn't, you know, I wouldn't talk to him on the phone or nothing like that because I was like, let me wait until... You know, I know that I know that I know that the door on this right here is closed and that, okay, we cool on this. Now let's push forward. Then therefore, last night, check this out. Look, huh. he texted me last night. And so, and out the blue, I just went on and called him. Cause, and I didn't tell him nothing about, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of waiting. You know, I just ain't really trying to, you know. But after that fish conversation yesterday the fish market conversation at that point in time okay yeah let me go ahead on ain't no sense of me keep telling this motherfucker i can't call you yet and you keep getting the voicemail motherfucker gonna call me about four or five times then got the voicemail and i'm looking at the phone and shit you know what i'm saying because i didn't want to i didn't want to open up you know open up a door and i still got a window to fuck wide open i was like no nah, i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna do that you know what i'm saying you get what you deserve you know what i mean and the way you the way you come in is sometimes the way the fuck you go out so i'm like you know what i'm not getting ready to play no motherfucking games now that i could put some verbiage and some voice and some volume to it you know what i'm saying let me go ahead on and, and hit him back so he had texted me um last night and so, and I just called him back, nigga. We was on a goddamn phone to goddamn it. I don't even know what time. The news come on, like, what, 4 o'clock? Nigga, it was like on 3, hang up, you know. And I I just, I guess I just needed that conversation. I needed that, too. You know what I'm saying? I just needed, I needed that, you know, to just talk to somebody else for a minute. Just talk to somebody else. Because, goddamn it, I was like, I was in a motherfucking twilight zone. You know, so I was like, you know, let me, let, let, let me just, uh, Talk to somebody else for a minute. See, 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 see where this head is at. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> and it was, it was hella cool. So, here, cheers to new beginnings. You know what I mean? But even still, I'm going to keep it low and light because I know niggas want pussy nowadays. Let's just be crystal clear. And uh, I ain't really, I ain't really, you know, it got to it gotta feel me a certain type of way. It got to hit me a certain type of way. I ain't in no hurry on that. But let me go on and say this right here. Nigga need a little cupcake in her life, though, because this... Man, I don't know how y'all do this celibacy shit. This celibacy shit is some bullshit, nigga. Who, who, who voted for that? You know what I'm saying? But shout out to the girls that's trying to be respectful with theirs. You know what I mean? Because trust and believe, yeah, if I can give me one knocked off if I needed it like that. But it's just the fact that, no, I want, I want a little bit more than that. I want a little bit more feelings back behind it. You know what I mean? And I don't want a motherfucker just faking the funk or faking the feeling for the simple fact that, you know what I'm saying, I said, nigga, go and get it. Nah, nah, I got I to gotta, I gotta feel something about mine. So if I got to wait, I got to wait. Now I got no problem with it. You know what I'm saying? I just got to keep on what I got going, keep the water bill paid up. You know what I'm saying? 
Geek that motherfucker on 10. And therefore, we win it. You know what I mean? But um, anyway, I'm gone, family. I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. You guys have a very, very prosperous day. Yes, unprecedented favor, I do declare upon you. Yes. And uh, that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. A video day in May. Today is video number 10. Tomorrow will be video number 11. However way we do it. I'm gone. I love you. Bye-bye.